welcome today we will see the circuit design and output for a buck chopper go to simscape sim power system specialized technology fundamental box electrical sources add a dc voltage source then go to power electronics add a MOSFET go to Porotronics and add a diode add power gate block go to elements we need one inductor and resistor DC source plus is connected to MOSFET drain. We can rotate the block by using the key control R. Change the branch type from RLC to inductor. Change the branch type from RLC to inductor. Here it is inductor value is 0.5. Henry. Then here change the RLC branch type to resistor. Resistor value is 10 ohms. Rotate the resistor by using the key control R. The next block we need is pulse generator. We need two voltage measurements. Then we need mean value block. Get the mean from Simscape library. Now minimize the circuit. We are having two voltage measurement. One for the input, one for the output. This will give you the input voltage. This will give you the output voltage. Then we need scope and display. In the scope change the number of inputs from 1 to 2 one for the input and the other for the output we need to display so select the display use the key control C for copying this block and use the key control V for pasting this block
this will give you digital value of the input this will give you the digital value of the output then this will give you the graphical value of input this will give you the graphical value of our output now let us assign the value for DC voltage source now let us take the DC voltage source as 250 and go and configure your pulse generator block amplitude is 5 volt time period is 0 0.5 0 0.01 seconds pulse width is 50 percentage phase delay is 0 now let us run the circuit this is called as bug chopper chopper is a device which will give you variable dc as output here the output is variable dc and the input to the circuit is fixed DC. Here we are employing MOSFET, a diode, inductor and a load which is a resistor. By varying the duty cycle in the MOSFET, I can vary the output DC voltage. Input, output will be always lesser than input. This is the reason it is called as buck chopper. In boost chopper, output will be always greater than input. Here you can see that the input is 250 volt, the output is 100 volt. Output is less than the input. Here the output is less than the input. If I want to reduce the output further, go to pulse generator and I will give the first generation value as 30 and simulate the circuit. Now you can see that our output is 44, input is 250. Now if I increase this pulse width, if I increase the pulse width from 30 to 70, the output will increase. Now the output is 159, input is 250. By this way, I can vary the output DC voltage from the circuit by changing the pulse generator. This is called as buck chopper. These are the corresponding waveform for your buck chopper. Thank you.